is lit. lit. Just take a look at the drip. You boys don't get fired. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video and on this video we're going to be looking at all the ways you can get free soldier or character skins in the game. I made a video like this all the way back in season 1 and a lot of people have been asking me how do you get free soldiers or characters in Call of Duty Mobile. There is a lot of ways to do this and there is a lot of free characters so in this video I'll show you guys all of those characters and all the ways you can go ahead and get them. Now also guys, before we actually hop into this video, I do want to say I am giving away 4,000 card points to one person. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and then leave a comment with your in-game name or your email address so I can contact you if you do win. And also guys, my sponsor, GoTroller, is giving away another controller on the channel which you can use to play Call of Duty Mobile. All you have to do to enter into this giveaway is subscribe to their channel and also subscribe to mine. The link is down in the description. But anyway guys, hop right into this video. So the first free character is Prophet Archangel. And the way to go ahead and get Prophet Archangel is by opening up Season 3 Daily Crate. Now the way to get these crates is actually extremely easy. And all you have to do is just progress in the free battle pass. You get them every couple of tiers. You don't get that many, but the odds of getting Prophet Archangel is actually 1%. And I managed to pull Prophet Archangel on my very first crate. And like I said, guys, in my opinion, it is a very, very cool assault. I'll show you guys over here in my loadout that I do actually have it. Here it is. It was a very easy skin to go ahead and get. And I gotta say, it's actually a very, very nice looking skin as well. Now the next free skin is Terence Brooks and this has actually been in the game since season 1 and I still don't have him. But the way to go ahead and get this skin is just by logging into the game every single day. You're going to be gifted with one of these supply drops every few days. If we go over to our events tab and just go to daily login and say go, as you can see every couple of days you're going to get one of these crates and you actually get four crates a week. So just log in every single day, collect your crates, and then you have a chance of going ahead and getting Terrence Brooks. Like I said, I still don't have this character, but it's a pretty, like it's not difficult to get crates for this character, which is very good. All you have to do is just log into the game every day. The odds, I believe, are lower than actually getting Prophet Archangel, but you're going to be getting a lot more crates compared to Prophet Archangel. Now the next free character is Lev Kravichenko and the way to get this character is a lot more difficult compared to the other two. You actually have to earn Fearless Soldier crates, but to earn these crates is a lot more difficult because they're only in events every couple of events. Like right now you can get 10 of these crates in the brand new Holiday Not Collection event. I opened up 10 of these crates and I got nothing. But currently you can go ahead and buy 10 of these crates for only 10 knots. So it is very cheap and you do have a shot at getting Lev Kravichenko. And I do believe continuing into the season they are going to be releasing more events where you can earn these crates to try to go ahead and get Lev Kravichenko. Okay, let's move on to the guaranteed skins. Currently you can go ahead and get the Special Ops 3 Arctic skin by just participating in the Lunar Festival like knot collection event. So all you need is 16 knots and the way to get these knots is just by killing enemies in any game mode. You can also go ahead and just send your friends XP cards and then the final way is just to play any matches in any game mode and you're gonna get more knots. It's a free skin and I actually really like the skins over here in my loader as well. I actually think it's a pretty good looking skin. It's a free skin, so you know what? Just try go for it. It's free. Why not? And it actually does look a lot better than the original Special Ops 3. This one actually has like some sort of like, it just looks good in my opinion. I actually really like the blue and the white. I just think it looks super, super neat. And then we have the Outrider Arctic, which was the first free female skin. And I actually really, really like this skin. Uh, over here, as you guys can see, it is the free version of the Outrider. And I actually really dig this plain looking like white and gray skin. It actually looks really, really good. And here's what you have to do to be able to get this skin. So the first step is just to click on the setting button there on the top it's in the top right corner and now what you want to do is click on the Facebook linked picture so right there in the top right again once you click on that it's gonna say link to a social account to better protect your game data please select one to link and the only one there is is Call of Duty 
So what you want to do now is click on that Call of Duty. It's going to load and it's going to take you to their website. Now once you get over here, it is going to ask you to either log in via Activision account or to create a new one. So I'm just going to log into an account and then you're going to see what happens next. Now once you have logged in, it's going to load and bring you back to this page. and It's going to say account linked. Please log in via Call of Duty. So just say OK. And now what you want to do is just going to basically restart the game. And now you want to log in through the new login uh, account. You don't want to log in through your old account. It's still the same account. So just say confirm. And now click on the middle button. So Call of Duty again. And it's just going to ask you to log in yet again. So now once you've logged in yet again, it's going to say COD login instead of your previous account login. It's just going to load into the game. And pretty much now, you're going to have your free character skin. Over there you can see COD linking reward. So let's go claim that. So your account is successfully linked and all progress will now sync across all devices. Enjoy the special Outrider Arctic as your reward for linking. So just say claim reward. And there we go. Now the next character, and in my opinion, the best looking character is going to be Merc 5 Yellow Snake. And you get this character at Master 2 in the rank mode for Battle Royale. And it really, really looks good. I actually have a tutorial up on the channel of how to get the skin super fast. It is just an amazing looking skin. And I definitely think it is worth the grind. The gold mixed with the, like, the dark purple, like the red and the brown just goes together so well. I know a lot of people don't like the color combination, but in my opinion, it just looks super flashy and just super amazing. And I definitely think it is worth the grind. Now, Martian 2 is definitely a very long and difficult grind. But in my opinion, for this beautiful skin, I think it is worth the grind. Like I said, I have a tutorial up on the channel of how to get this skin pretty quickly. And I'm definitely going to finish grinding for this skin because I really, really want it. Now, the final skin that you guys can go ahead and unlock is Tank Dempsey. Now, this skin is very, very cool. Definitely one of the best looking skins in the game and you get this skin by playing zombies. Your goal is to get 100 shards and you get Tank Dempsey. Now this has been in the game all the way since season 2. It is season 3 right now and I do guarantee you that the shards are so much easier to get in season 3 than it was in season 2. I gave up trying to go for this character in season 2. But when season 3 started, I tried again, and I get about 12, 9 to 12 shards a game. I've completed both the pistol and the axe, and I'm almost done with Tank Dempsey, all in the space of like 3 weeks. It's completely crazy, and what your goal should be is to play either like survival, or to go ahead and play hardcore raid. In survival, what you want to do is go up to round 10 and it'll give you like this pop-up saying, you got all the rewards, do you want to continue playing? You just say no, and then you get your reward. It takes about 10 minutes, it's extremely easy to do. Now, in hardcore raid, it takes quite a while. So if you don't have time, I would recommend only playing survival. But yeah, it's a very easy skin to go ahead and unlock. And I really, really like the skin. So those are all the free skins in the game. Right now, you can go ahead and unlock. But we can expect two more free skins in the near future. And the first one is going to be Nikolai for the new Zombies map, Night of the Undead. We are going to be able to unlock the skin the same way that you unlock Tank Dempsey. Now, I have no idea how the skin is going to go ahead and look, but I am extremely excited because I really like the whole Strahd method. It is a guaranteed skin. All you have to do is grind the game and actually play the game to unlock the skin. You don't really need too much luck because you're going to be playing like every day and eventually you're going to get the Strahd and then you're going to be able to unlock it. Unlike Supply Drops, you really, really need drop. Over here, all you have to do is go ahead and grind the game. I like this method. What do you guys think? Please let me know down below in the comment section. Now, the next skin that we can go ahead and expect for Season 3 or Season 4 is going to be Special Ops 5, the Arctic skin. And how I know we're going to be getting the skin is because Garena recently got the skin as a login reward. And basically, they got Special Ops 3 as a login reward last season, in Season 2. Which means we're either going to get the skin this season later on, 
or early season four. We're definitely gonna get it in my opinion because we already got two Arctic skins and I definitely think they'll give us a third one, which is pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. I just showed you guys the picture. Please let me know what you think of this skin. I actually really like Special Ops 5, so I'm pretty excited to be able to get my hands on this one as well. I really hope it actually comes into the game and that it's not going to be just an exclusive for Greener. That'll be really, really interesting to go ahead and see. So yeah, guys, it's basically going to be the whole video, so please let me know what you think of these characters. Which ones do you already have and what do you think of the brand new two ones that we might be seeing early on in season three? So yeah, guys, that is the whole video and I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, then smack a like and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, guys, squally out. Have a kick-ass day and cheers. Bye.